In Sweden, you can burn this book, but don't you dare touch the Torah. A 34-year-old man has just been prevented by Swedish authorities from burning the Torah in Stockholm, Sweden, outside the Israeli embassy. Now, the man in question has made it very clear that he's not in favor of burning any scripture and he's only proposing to burn the book to spark a debate. Now, although his intended plans will not be going ahead after the Swedish government and the Jewish community stepped in, the entire situation has left us scratching our heads. I mean, it was just last week where Sweden gave full authority for Rasmus Paladin to burn the Quran outside the Turkish embassy in the very same city, all under police protection, government approval, and of course, a gigantic sum of taxpayer money funding the entire fiasco. In fact, we even witnessed the Swedish prime minister and foreign minister come out publicly to defend the depraved act, saying that although they're not supportive of what took place, it was still freedom of expression. What is going on? What exactly is this freedom of expression that you talk of? Because to anyone with a basic level of intellect, the only thing we're noticing is freedom of hypocrisy, where we have one rule for anti-Muslim speech and another rule for everyone else. Now, let me be clear, burning any holy book or scripture is totally and utterly unacceptable. The Torah is a book that Muslims have utmost respect for, a book that God describes in the Quran as being one that was sent down in its original form with guidance and light. It's a depraved act to burn any religious scripture. But why the double standards? The truth is that freedom of expression is nothing more than a baton that Europe uses to clobber minorities with at their discretion a baton that is selectively applied to humiliate some and defend others. These same European countries that sanctify freedom of expression as though it's a pillar of Iman or faith are guilty of penalizing certain forms of speech themselves. According to Swedish law, insulting the king could land you in prison for two years. In France, insulting the flag, six months in prison. In Germany, insulting the flag, three years in prison. In Denmark, insulting the flag, two years in prison. Even questioning the Holocaust in France could land you with one year in prison. It's hypocrisy in its finest form. You either believe in freedom of speech or you don't. You can't selectively apply it whenever it goes in your favor. And as much as people would like to position this as a discussion on freedom of expression and healthy criticism of ideas, this is not about freedom of debate. It's about the freedom to incite hate. If this was about debate, we would have no problem. The Quran itself invites people to challenge it. If they are in doubt about this book, then bring something like it. Even if it was a single chapter, find an error in this book if you claim it's not divine. A challenge that has left its detractors with no other response but to burn the book. How pitiful. My honest advice is to stop burning and start learning. While you parade yourselves as nations that are bastions of progress and social advancement, ask yourself, how progressive and cohesive is your society truly? Where a culture of insult, obscenity, and disrespect is normalized. Perhaps you should take a read of our book and learn a bit about building a cohesive society. A book that teaches us to respect other faiths, and do not insult those who invoke other than Allah. A book that teaches us not to insult, mock, or ridicule other people. A book that teaches us to learn from our neighbors. To respect them and not disgrace them. Yet guess what? Even if you were to continue to burn every Quran on earth, what are you going to achieve? By Allah, we make an oath that if you were to burn every Qur'an on earth, we will bring back the Qur'an within a day. Cover to cover, page to page, word for word, and letter for letter, to even the subtle vowels and diactric marks that are on top of each and every single letter. We have 12-year-old boys and girls that will gladly recite the Qur'an back to you by memory. You cannot burn that which is preserved within our hearts that which was sent down to hearts to be preserved within the hearts. So tell me again, what on earth will you achieve? Stop burning and start learning.